Welcome to Key Skill 4. This is your last key skill in this series. Now, we are in the online course 2.4 Simultaneous Equations. In this section, in Key Skill 4, you're going to need a lot of the stuff that we learned in 2.3 Quadratics. A lot about the real, imaginary, or single roots of quadratic equations. I'm going to do a quick recap here, but if you haven't done 2.3, I would definitely recommend that you should know all that stuff before starting this. Now, the quick recap is going to go like this. You should know that the discriminant b squared minus 4ac, so we get the abc from the quadratic equation, is bigger than zero if you have two roots. Now, in our case, because we're talking about points of intersections, that would mean two points of intersection. So, for example, roughly, if you had something like, for example, a, a circle and a straight line, this would be here, your two points of intersection. It could also be that you're talking about a quadratic graph and a line, and again, that would be two points of intersection, for example. So there you would need to have b squared minus 4ac bigger than zero or a positive number when you did the discriminant. The second example was b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero, which is one root. In our case, that's one point of intersection. If we had a circle, we would have a line that looked like this. Oh, that's about two points. So touching perfectly the circle in only one point. You need to know the name for this line. This is called the tangent. So tangent, if they say, is a line a tangent, that's the same as saying, does it have one point of intersection? You can also have a tangent, for example, like that. Imagine they just touch in one place only. In the last scenario, you have b squared minus 4ac less than zero, which is zero roots or no points of intersection. So you can have something like a circle here and a line here, or a quadratic graph here, and a line over here, you can see that they are not touching. There's no points of intersection. So in that situation, you'll do b squared minus 4ac, and you'll be looking for a negative number. Let's read the question. Does the line y equals 2x minus 1 intersect the circle, this equation of a circle? So we, we need a little question mark here. So what we're going to do is, as before, we're going to take our linear equation in blue and substitute it into our quadratic equation, which is the equation for the circle. So here we go. x plus 5 squared plus, now the y I'm going to replace with 2x minus 1. There's a plus 3 squared equals to 25. Now, x plus 5 squared plus... 2x minus 1 plus 3 is 2x here, plus 2 squared equals to 25. Multiply out these brackets. Oh, two sets of brackets to multiply out. So the beginning steps are exactly the same as when you're finding the point of intersection. So it's going to be x squared plus 2 lots of 5x, so 10x plus 25. And here... 4x squared into all plus, so that would be your 4x squared, oh sorry, that would be your 4x squared, plus 4x, plus 4x, plus 4, equals to 25. x squared and x squared is 5x squared, um, plus 10, plus 4, plus 4, so that would be 18x. And we would have a 25 plus 4 is 29. And I'm going to bring the plus 25 over here. So that's a lot of tidying up. At this stage here, once you reach this stage here, it's where the two questions are slightly different. If you were asked to find the points of intersection, what you would do now is factorize that quadratic, get your two answers, and then go back to your y equation. So that's what we've been doing in key skill two and key skill three. But in this situation, we've been asked, do they intersect? So we're going to be back into one of our three situations. Yes, they intersect, they intersect twice. 
they intersect once or they don't intersect at all. So I'm going to take my A, B and C. So I'm going to have A is 5, B is 18 and C is 4. So I'm going to calculate my discriminant B squared minus 4AC. 18 squared minus 4 times A is 5 times C is 4. Okay, I'm going to type that all into my calculator here. You could do this in your head, but you know, who's got time for that? So the answer for your B squared minus 4AC is 244. That's a positive number. So it means that it does intersect and there are two points of intersection. So this circle and this line will cross over in two distinct places. So let's have a look at question two. Is y equals to x minus three a tangent to the circle? So tangent would be one point of intersection or b squared minus 4ac equal to zero. So I'm going to substitute in for y, x minus 3, to get the quadratic equation. So I'm multiplying out that bracket, x squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9 equals to 9. Mm, 2x squared here minus 6x, so plus 9 minus 9 would be 0. I'm going to divide that by 2. So this is a quadratic that I'm left with. Now I don't solve it, I identify my a and my b, and c would be 0. I substitute that in, b squared minus 4ac, so it will be minus 3 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 0. So minus 3 squared will be 9. So my final answer, this will all be 0, my final answer is 9, which is bigger than 0. So this is not a tangent because it's b squared minus 4ac bigger than 0. It means there's two points of intersection and a tangent would only be one point of intersection. So in question 3, it's a little bit different. We've been asked to find the value of k, which makes this line a tangent to the curve. So remember, tangent to the curve means one point of intersection, which means we're looking for b squared minus 4ac equal to zero. So I'm going to set these two equations equal to, equal to each other as though I was about to um, find the point of intersection. So plus 3x, I'm going to subtract this 2x from over here, plus 1, and I'm going to minus the k. 3x minus 2x is x, and then you've got 1 minus k. At this point, I'm going to identify my a, b, c. So a is 1, b is 1, c is 1 minus k. And I'm going to substitute that into the formula. b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1, and times c is 1 minus k. So 1 squared is 1, 4 times 1 is 4. Okay, I'm going to multiply this bracket out. Minus 4. Minus 4 times minus k will be plus 4k equals to 0. Here, 1 minus 4 will be minus 3 plus 4k equals to 0. Bring the minus 3 over to the other side. Bring the multiply 4 to the other side and change it to divide by 4. And you've got your final answer, which is k is equal to 3 over 4. And that brings you to the end of the Key Skill 4 videos. No more videos, but make sure you're doing your exam questions on your online course. And any questions that you have, post those below in the forum. I'll see you guys later. Well done. Bye for now. Thank you.